descents the current rather than putting the meter in series with the current path I've added a, a 10 ohm resistor in series with the meter because it's up on the panel and easier to access so I can uh, simply measure the voltage across this to get the, the current here I've got the meter connected across the sensor resistor and it's measuring on the milliohm scale and when I fire the laser it reads correctly that's reading 10 milliamps there then we're divided it by 10 and the meter on the front panel is reading 10 milliamps as well so that shows it's working correctly here's a quick high voltage divider I made up it consists of um, 10 47 mega ohm resistors in series and at the end is a 1k resistor to act as the bottom divider bottom resistor off the divider and I'll put it all into a plastic tube just to give something to hold on to as a sort of uh, sort of probe you can probe the other end with, with things so I've enclosed the resistor divider in a plastic tube for protection one end is just the um, pin coming out the resistor and the other end is the, the two wires off the lower divider so I'm currently applying 400 volts across the whole uh, the whole thing from my little power supply and if we look at the divided voltage we get to millivolt scale about 0.87 millivolts so from that we can work out the division ratio here's the measurement setup for looking at the voltage and current through the laser tube I've got um, two meters the one on the left will measure the tube current and the one on the right will measure the tube voltage so the tube current is being measured by the voltage across this 10 ohm current sense resistor placed in series with the, the tube and that's being measured by my relatively new fancy meter the tube voltage is measured by the divider and it's connected to my cheaper standard meter just in case something goes wrong and the meter gets uh, fried by the high voltage the uh, divider tip will be touched to the tube anode I've cut away some of the insulation so you can see the bare metal there so that's going to be touched just like that <coughs> the negative return of the divider here goes to see down there the bottom end of the tube that's the bottom of the four terminal connections so we should be ready to give it a whirl okay so we'll turn the laser on and the Put the power setting to oh, maybe twenty percent power just to something to try. Now, if I've got enough fingers here, I have to press both of these at the same time for it to, to work. Um, there. So, pressing these, you can see the 
current meter reads 3.8 milliamps and if I can perch this somewhere, maybe there. Okay, I'm going to touch the probe to the high voltage terminal and turn it on again. Just a minute. Okay. 22 millivolts. Now there is actually quite a large um, AC component present in these signals but um, I'll, I'll just measure the, the DC value for now. So let's work out what that actually is. Um, remember the... it was 3.8 milliamps. Remember the divider is at 460,000 times division. So it's, um, what did I say, 22 millivolts times 460,000, which is about 10 kilovolts at 4 milliamps, which is about 40 watts going into the tube, which seems about, about right. So I'll repeat this for some other power settings on the knob and uh, see what values, values I get.